In this vid, I'll be showing three more complete sets, starting off with the legendary reverse set. So this is the legendary regular set, so we'll just skip right on ahead to the reverse. Um, the reverses in this set are actually quite interesting. It's the only um, time that Pokemon has printed a reverse of this style. As you can tell, they're uh, extremely bright. This was uh, the first reverse um, cards that they tried out. And um, honestly, um, it's, it's not too bad in the video, but if you stare at them long enough, it really starts to hurt your eyes. Um, there may be a reason why they went to different, uh, not as shiny reverses in other sets. Um, they did try out several different variants of alternate reverse or reverse cards, um, but they never have come back to the crazy style of the legendary re reverses. Um, for obviously obvious reasons, I believe. Um, this was the legendary set was also a reprint set, um, the second reprint set. So it um, included cards from uh, Jungle base set. Fossil, um, Team Rocket, I don't believe it incorporated any of the Heroes or Challenge uh, series as well as the Neo series, um, which made it kind of disappointing as a set just because it was so similar to base set 2. However, it was, I believe, the, uh, the style of the reverses or just the introduction of reverses and not having a first edition um, set that you had to buy separate packs from that made this set a little more uh, appealing to players as well as collectors. But actually, it's probably really only appealing to collectors. As a player, you probably would have had all of the cards that were released in this set. And the last two trainers. So, that is the complete uh, legendary reverse set. Now we're going on to the Neo Destiny first edition series. So there are the different pack wrappers. Um, I believe those are the unlimited ones. I don't think I have any first edition. Well, actually, I do have some. I think of some first edition Neo series. I'll have to check that I have not taped in the binder yet. Um, so here we go. Starting off with the hollows. And if you've seen my unlimited version um, of this set you'll notice that the cards are completely identical. The only thing that differs is this one little stamp in the left-hand corner. Um, you actually had to buy separate packs rather than just getting like a reverse, getting one reverse per pack. You had to buy a separate first edition pack in order to get these cards, making them very rare. Um, they definitely were not printed as long and were pretty much only available um, or were available to people that were big into collecting. Um, a player really had no incentive to pay extra money just to have a stamp on their card. Overall though, the Neo Destiny series, um, like the other Neo series, is pretty impressive. Um, the artwork is kind of here and there, um, quite a variety of different things, but the hollows in this set are particularly uh, interesting. Although what makes this set extremely impressive are the Shinings. So, I'll zoom in on each of them. Shining Celebi. Shining Charizard. Shining Kabutops. Shining Mewtwo. Shining Knockdown. Shining Raichu. Um, sorry, that's the hollow from the other one. Shining uh, Tyranitar and Shining Steelix. Yeah, the Shinings in this set are uh, definitely what made the first edition version extremely difficult to complete, um, but finally got it done. And um, yeah, Dark for Alligator, one of my favorite hollows. And the last complete set that I'll be showing is the Reverse Fire Red Leaf Green set. So it took me quite a while to get this set complete. Um, oh, there are the booster packs if you'd like to see them. The last card I needed to complete this set was a Reverse VS Seeker. And the reason why that's so difficult to get a hold of is because VS Seeker is a very playable card right now. 
um, meaning not only does the, that increase its value just because it's a VIA Seeker, but because it's an older card and a pretty interesting reverse holo card considering the, um, as you can, well, on the rare cards they put this Pokeball symbol, um, and if you can tell, in the background of the actual picture, they've got a little bit different hologram to it. So it's that hologram that made people um, made people that had a hollow VS Seeker from this set hang on to it. And it's kind of difficult to tell, but all the rest of the commons and uncommons, while they don't have the Pokeball on the front, um, do still have the, the um, alternate hollow foil in the background. And now we're finishing up the set with uh, trainers, supporters, stadiums, and uh, one special energy. So there's that VS Seeker. The VS Seeker is also pretty cool looking compared to the other VS Seekers, so that's why it's a little more difficult to track down. And that is it for the complete reverse holo set of uh, Fire Red Leaf Green. So I have two more sets to complete before I'm done with completing my goal of one card from every um, English set printed. Um, that would be the Deoxys regular set as well as the Shadowless base set. The last two cards I need are in the mail, so I'll be showing the, those complete sets hopefully very soon. And then I, uh, it'll probably be a few weeks, but I will be having a complete master set bid. So keep an eye out for those, and thanks again for watching.